After installation of the Amos player to your computer, you can start the background music playback to your zones very fast. In the beginning, you need to assign the program to be started in the administrative mode. This is needed for launching the API interface that allows you to work with it from any spot in the local network. To do this, make a right-click on the Amos player, open the property window, switch to the Compatibility tab, press Change settings for all users, and mark two checkboxes. Disable display scaling and run this, this program as an administrator. Then press Apply and two times OK. During the first start, you go through the activation and registration procedure. To do this, you need to connect your computer to the Internet. Start the Amos player and press Activate in the Activation and Registration window. Then fill in the program registration code and press Register. If you use this software in a 30 days free test mode, press Continue Trial. Now you can start creating the necessary components, players and zones. For your convenience, you can scale the program window and it will keep the new size at the next start. On the Create tab, you choose the requested number of the local players, external players connected to the sound interface inputs, choose the creation of the microphone input, Spotify and AirPlay players. Here you can also set the number of the created zones. After pressing the Create button, all the elements will be created and you switch to the settings of the created players. Local players don't have any settings. The external player has a choice of the input to which it is connected. And the air player has the following settings. Name, access password, ports and initial buffer size. For the first start, press the Restart button that will be needed in the future only to make any changes in the player's settings. To turn the AR player on, you need to install the Apple Bonjour service. After pressing the Next button, you switch to the Zone settings. You can choose an output device for each zone, an output pair to which the zone is connected, a certain channel if the zone works in mono mode. Assign the stereo mode, set the initial volume. And assign the three band graphic equalizer to the low, middle and high frequencies. After pressing the save button, all the changes in the created workspace will be saved. By pressing the Next button, you switch to the next page of settings. First, write log. Second, ask before exit. Third, crossfade time, force. Password protection, fifths. Assignment of the secret port through which you will execute the access to the API protocol. After clicking the Finish button, the program is completely ready to start working and opens your default browser with the player's control page. You'll learn how to control the program through the web interface from the next tutorials.